This is a generic student schedule. Here you will find each of the classes that you will be taking this year. This is the abbreviations for each of those classes. These abbreviations are here on the schedule. On this part of the schedule, you will find what classes you will have on each day. These are your red day for, these are four of your red day classes. In first block, this is your class, second block, and so on. The red numbers are the rooms for the classrooms that you will also find up here across from the class that you're taking. The instructor is also across from the class that you're taking. Um, uh, blocks one through four are on a red day and blocks five through eight are on a blue day. Academic lab is at the end of each red and blue day except for Wednesday, which is chapel day. This is the bell schedule. Zero block or zero period is an opportunity for you to talk to your teachers if, you have, if you're behind or you need help in anything. Red and blue day schedules are on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. There will always be a 10 minute break after each class so that the classrooms may be cleaned and ready for the new class to come in. On Wednesday, it's chapel day. So there will be no academic lab like at the end of Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, but instead we use the time for chapel in the middle of the day. Hey guys, this is the health check that you're gonna go through every morning when you come on campus. Okay, so do you have any of the symptoms on this list? Make sure you check over each of the symptoms and make sure you don't have them. After you go through the symptoms, you're going to come over here to the Trojan temperature check. Normal temperature. Make Normal sure the light turns green before you go away. Normal temperature. Normal temperature. Perfect. Normal temperature. Good. Normal temperature. Okay. After it says you're good, then you're going to get a wristband from a staff Normal member, Miss Dyer or Miss Olmos, and you put it on your wrist immediately. You cannot take off the wristband until you leave campus, so take it off at home. Even if you stay after school for sports or for help from a teacher, you still have to keep this on. This is for the safety of everyone, so thank you for doing your part. Hey everyone. So little thing for your lockers. Make sure you don't put anything permanent in your lockers because you'll, be, you'll have to clean your locker at the end of the year. And when you're getting to your locker, make sure you get, get in and get out fast so other people can get what you need, so other people can get what they need too, so you're also managing social distancing. Okay, so when using your locker, make sure at the beginning to reset it by turning it around three times at the zero. Then pick your first number and go around counterclockwise, go to your second number, and then go back. You don't need to turn it again. You can go back to your regular number and voila. Hello, new students. Further everything going on, using the bathroom is going to be a little more complicated. The first thing to do is do nothing. <laughs> Once you go to the bathroom, just walk away from the toilet. You don't need to touch anything because it's touchless. So the bathroom, I mean the toilet, will do its job. You just walk away. Okay, so after you're done doing that, wash your hands with soap and water. Both of them. And sinks will be um, touchless soon, so you won't have to worry about all the germs that come here. Um, and then we also have touchless paper towels. And you can just throw them right away if you're done with that. And lastly, better safe than sorry, just take a squirt even after you wash your hands. One last thing if paper towels are empty, if the hand sanitizer is empty, if the soap is empty, please tell the office. And if it causes you to be late to class, you won't be marked tardy. But just please tell the office because all this all these things are really important. So get all this done as fast as possible because there can only be four people in the bathroom at a time, which means you can't hang around or do your makeup or picture card. You have to do all those things before you go to school. 
So there's only four solos. So like I said, four people only in the bathroom at all times. So you want to be fast so other people can go to the bathroom because they need to get to class too. But there are 15 minutes in between each class period, so you should have enough time to go to the bathroom. And that's pretty much it. It's not that complicated. You just need to remember all these things to, like, for everyone's safety and for you. Hi guys, this is the water fountain. You only you can only use for to fill up your water bottle, not to drink on it, like this. Always remember to use hand sanitizer. Just, no, just say hand sanitizer. Use hand sanitizer. Front office procedure. If you have any questions, if you're feeling ill, or if a teacher needs to make a copy, make sure you wear your mask and you can talk to Miss Omos through the window. If she's not here, just knock her on the window board and she will answer anything that you need. Hey guys, if you're having a problem with your school email or Google Classroom, Come and talk to Miss Omos. She'll help you with everything. Hey everybody. I know some people have problems taking off their wristbands. The easiest way to do this is to find the little flap underneath. Get enough of that to get a good grip. And then just pull. And it should come right off. 